Welcome to Electro Online. Our next problem here for the JE Advanced Test is kind of interesting. Interesting in the fact that they gave us a lot of information at the top that wasn't really necessary. At this level, we should already know what's written in the top. And the only thing we need is the correct statement is, and here are the four possible answers, and then find out what is correct or not. And of course, again, it can be anywhere from one to four being correct. Now, the text on top essentially is saying that with fission, I'm sorry, fission reactions or, or fusion reactions or any sort of radioactive decay, the combined masses of the daughter products should be less than the initial products so that the difference in mass can be converted to energy so that the reaction is readily possible. If the daughter products have more mass than the initial products you started with, well, then that's not possible as energy is added to the reaction. Typically, in nuclear reaction, that's not the case. So we can use that general principle to determine which of these answers are correct. However, in some cases, we need to check, and so we have some masses in atomic mass unit for some of the neutral atoms that we may be considering. So now let's look at the four possible answers to determine which of those four, again, it can be anywhere from one to four, are correct. All right, the first one says that the nucleus, lithium-3,6, can emit an alpha particle. So when an alpha particle is emitted, that's essentially a fission reaction, that things are splitting up into lighter elements. Now, for any elements that are lighter than iron, that's extremely unlikely. Matter of fact, not possible. So right off the bat, you don't expect to see any sort of emission of alpha, alpha particles from elements that are lighter than iron. So for that alone, I would say A is wrong. Now you can check, for example, you can take lithium right here, 6.015123. So let's do it real quick. 6.015123. And now subtract from that the mass of an alpha particle. The mass of our alpha particle is 4.002603. So we get 0, 2, that would be 5, 4 minus 2 is 2, 1, 0, and 2.0. So that's the mass of the remaining particle, which would have to be a deuteron, which is right here. And notice that's not enough mass to make a deuteron, so the reaction is not possible. We already knew that, but that's how we check. So definitely A is not possible. How about B? The nucleus polonium can emit a proton. Well, that's not a typical reaction that I would expect the polonium to do, but let's say that we didn't know that and we want to check. So we start with polonium, and polonium is right over here. So we have the mass of 209.982876. Of course, when we remove a proton from polonium, it'll turn into bismuth 83 instead of polonium 84. So let's take a proton, the mass of a proton. Essentially, the mass of a proton would then be accompanied with the electron, because typically neutral atoms are ejected. And so that means we subtract from that 1.007825. And let's see if the remaining mass is enough to make a bismuth 83 or a bismuth 209. All right, so that would be 1, 5, 0, 12 minus 7. It's 5. That would be uh, a 7, a 9, and a 208. So that's the remaining mass. And is that enough to make a bismuth? And notice. No, it's too small, it's not big enough, a bismuth could not be made from that. So it's again a reaction that's not possible. How about C? A deuteron and an alpha particle can undergo complete fusion. Well, you expect that to be able to happen. Smaller particles, like a deuteron and an alpha particle, or smaller atoms, should be able to fuse anywhere up to iron. Typically, the resulting uh, fusion results in a in, a, in an end product that is, has less mass than the initial two products. So I would say automatically yes, but we can check that in a moment. And finally, the nuclei zinc and selenium can undergo complete fusion. And again, that is typically not possible because these elements are larger than iron, both of them. Iron has atomic mass of 26. Uh, I should say atomic mass unit 26, so definitely they cannot fuse. So by default, we've already eliminated A, B, and D, and we know there's at least one correct answer. I would say this one has to be correct, and that's the only correct answer, and that ends up being the case. Now, quickly, what we can do is we can check. Uh, so when we have a deuteron, which is this right here, that gives us a 2.014102. 
and then we add that to an alpha particle, which is essentially helium, which is 4.002603. So let's add those together. That is 5076106 point. And if this mass is, well, if it's less, we add the two particles together. No, it has to be more than the resulting end product, right? Remember, we want to lose mass. So when we add these two masses together, this mass should be larger than the particle that it ends up making, of course. That would then be uh, lithium-3,6, because this has, one pro uh, that has two protons. Uh, where are we? Sorry. This has two protons. This has one proton, a total of three protons, a total of six neutrons. And notice that this is larger than the mass of lithium-3,6. Therefore, the two initial products have more mass than the end product. The remaining mass is that, that's called the mass defect, is then converted to energy. And so therefore, we have shown that this is definitely a possible nuclear reaction. And in this case, the only one of the four that are listed. And that is how it's done.